What's going on YouTube? I bet you all are wondering who is this guy with his shirt buttoned all the way up to the top? This corny dude on this video. <laughs> and that's a good question. What's up? My name is Q and this is my first YouTube video. A moto vlog is that what they call it. Um, I've been watching YouTube videos for years man i mean years on years on years <clears throat> and uh you know so i was talking to my fiance and you know like you, you know what i think i can do this so hey you know what i'm giving it a shot and see what happens uh just something about me again my name is q i live in dallas texas as you might see on the backdrop that is the current location for the backdrop dallas texas uh what else about me I played college football for five years, played defense tackle. So I'm a pretty, pretty big, big boy, if you want to call it that. Um, let me see, recently engaged uh, to my fiance. You guys will meet her on some future videos. Uh, I love cars, motorcycles, basically anything that go fast, trucks, lifted trucks. I'm a Cowboys fan, and I'm pretty sure as we keep on going these videos, uh, We'll, we'll, we'll get into all that stuff. Um, you know, my inspiration for doing YouTube videos, um, you know, as of late, the main people I've been watching is uh, Tall Guy Cars View, shout out to Slim, uh, Mr. Organic, three of them, you know, him, uh, SRT Mush, uh, Kevin Van Boys, Moto Nocity, Motorcycle Guy. So, you know, I'm into cars and motorcycles. I did used to ride a motorcycle. I say did used to. I don't currently have one. I wrecked the one I had. I'm pretty sure there's a story down the road too. Uh, so yeah, basically anything that goes fast, man, that looks dope, I'm into it. Um, so plans for the channel, honestly, I don't know what the plans for the channel is. You know, like I said, I love cars. Uh, you know, slim with the tall guy car reviews. You know, I don't want to, you know, take anybody's uh, ideas. You know, I'm a big guy. You know, I'm six two, but I'm two eighty five. You know, slim more so. I think six eleven. You know, I think he said 6'11", 220, 230. So I'm a little short of 6'2", but I'm 285. You know, more of a wide guy. So, you know, you know, uh, you know, do some videos with, from a big guy perspective, but I don't think I want to do that. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to take anybody's ideas, anything like that. Uh, you know, I you know I love to work out into fitness. So, I mean, honestly, I don't, I don't really know what the channel is going to consist of, uh, but I do uh, have some ideas and we'll see where we go from there um, as far as what's in store for the channel but today's video I just want to introduce myself and of course since I love cars love trucks uh, fast cars anything that looks nice you know why not start the video off with my daily driver truck and excuse me there's cars coming right now it is time for everybody to get off work so a lot of people are coming in so I apologize for any noise, anything you may hear or see in the video. Actually, this dude just parked right next to uh, where I want to film. Oh, look, they both parked right next to where I want to film, bro. Okay, so anyway, we gonna make it work without trying to make it awkward. Uh, my truck is parked over there. Um, so yeah, we'll see. I'm kind of just waiting on them to clear out real quick uh, before I go over and introduce you all to Blue. but. Before I do, um, Blue is a 2010 Dodge Ram 1500 quad cab, uh, wheel wheel drive only. Her name is Blue, so I'm guessing you all know what color she is. Can you guess? Leave a, leave a comment in the description below. I mean, leave a comment below and let me know what color you think she is. But um, here she is, ready for it? Boom. All right, so, uh, this is blue. She's a 2010 Ram 1500. Uh, I had a truck for about two years now, two and a half years. Um, love it. You know, it has zero complaints about it. Uh, new tires put on, as you probably can tell, those things are pretty new, man. Uh, you know, both front and back. Has a tonal cover. I think that's how you say that tonal cover on it um so yeah this is blue 
I have done some mods to it. Um, nothing drastic. Cold air intake. And I do have a Flow Master 50 series put on it, which sounds really good. Um, so yeah, let me go ahead. Actually, I'm go around this side real quick. Go ahead, hop in, and give you guys a tour real quick. So this is through the passenger side. You see, it is a Laramie. Sorry, I forgot to mention that Laramie edition here, uh, which means it's, uh, it's 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 not top of the line, but pretty close to top of the line. I think it goes Laramie, then uh, Limited, then what is it? Limited Longhorn for the Dodge or for the Ram. So this is the interior, man. As you can see, it's leather seats, heated in, cooled uh, seats. Has the screen in there. This screen actually pop out. You remember the old CD players back in the day, man, when you push in the whole thing comes out. You know, that was pretty cool back in the day. Uh, as you can see in the back here, uh, quad cab, excuse the, I mean, that's my hat. Hey, this is my dad hat. Got my dad hat on here. Boom. Which, um, I actually just put some, um, did the charging system on the AC unit. So yeah, this is the back seat, man. Like I said, leather. I rarely, anybody's rarely back here. Anything like that. Uh, let me see, go around to the driver's side, pop the hood for y'all. Oops, excuse me. Pop the hood real quick. I think, hey, that guy just moved his car, man. I think he's like, man, this dude put me on YouTube. <laughs> so, pop the hood real quick to let y'all see. Oh, man, what it looked like, what it looked like, cute, what it looked like, cute. Let's show him what it looked like, baby. Uh, boom, pop it. It's a little warm under here, man. I did just get home from work, uh, which is another reason will explain why I'm dressed this way. So, boom, there it is under the hood. Got the V8 Hemi, you know what I'm saying? Got the V8 Hemi, and here's the cold air system intake. It's an SNB cold uh, air intake system, man. I had no complaints with it right now. I think I bought it at 85. When I bought it, I had 85,000 miles on the car. Um, you're supposed to change it out at one every 30,000, so it's good to 115,000 miles. And I believe it's the washable one, so should be pretty easy to do and clean. Uh, when it's time to get to that point, uh, yeah, so that's it, man. Asian, I actually just got done my thermostat, just redid everything up there, man. Got these new hoses, upper and lower hoses down there. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it on the engine, man. That cold air intake does make a difference. You know, you hear a lot of people, excuse me, you hear a lot of people say, you know, the cold air intake, oh, it really doesn't do anything, blah, 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 blah. No, man, let me tell you, my experience with the cold air intake, man, is that uh, it does make a huge, not a huge difference, but you can definitely feel the throttle response when you step on it. I mean, um, oftentimes when I'm with my fiance, we'll be driving and, you know, I'll take off from a you know from five to go to five to start building speed to um get it to uh, traveling speed and she's like why are you pressing on the gas you know it, but it, it does the throttle response is more um aggressive you do feel it more it is there more um so yeah let's see i'm gonna actually see it won't be a cold start because i actually driven it today so it won't be a cold start video but let me see if i can uh, get you guys um a startup real quick and a few revs actually what i'm gonna do is i need something to prop this up real quick with so i'm grabbing on my back prop it up hop in and give you guys a uh a startup let's see So hopefully that uh hopefully y'all were hopefully 
excuse me, hopefully you all able to catch that in the video uh, again a little revs again so that is a 50 series uh, i'm sorry we got the other that is a 50 series flow master uh with the cold air intake smb cold air intake i i can't lie man it does sound uh good i love the way it sounds um uh, i opted for the 40 series as you know floor masters go like we like what 50 60 55 50 40 whatever something like that so i opted for the 50 series because it was the most tamed but when you hit the throttle you knew something was there if that makes sense uh i didn't want to be the person coming out through the whole neighborhood and you can hear me coming from two blocks away well i kind of do but i don't you know i kind of like to be discreet you know you hit but once you definitely hit the throttle you know it's some back there and you can hear it at low speeds too um you can hear a nice little rumble when i'm just driving but uh yeah i'm gonna step back and give you all a, a full view of it but uh it's a clean truck um man i get so many compliments on this truck um uh, and i go over that on another video but uh also i didn't show you got it back so the tunnel cover here i got the key i got the key but i just leave it unlocked boom lift up there so see in the back i got some stuff in the bag got a um a, um got a pale thing back there with the red ball and i cannot think of the name right there there got some tiles back here when i wash it got a lawn chair some old football gloves you know so it does have the bed liner spray and bed liner things like that so uh this actually came with the truck when i bought it so it was a pretty clean and these things are pretty expensive man. i'm not sure if you guys um look at tunnel covers and how much they cost but they are pretty expensive so anyway um that's really um all i have on this video man i can't think of anything else like i said it's my first vlog i'm excited to see what happens with it um like i said this is my ram 1500 daily driver um no complaints about the truck whatsoever um well i do have some complaints but we'll get into that on the next video um also i do have tent on here as well um uh, i believe the, the back here is 12 or 7 percent or something like that and the front is like 25 percent 30 25 percent as you know in the state of texas i believe the legal limit is 20 percent so you can't be below um 20 percent the dealership i go to they always told me hey we put 35 percent on there because when you put the odometer reading um here it reads 25 or 23 or something so that's what how they do it if i do get another vehicle i probably won't go to that one because i like my tent pretty dark um i want the tent that you can't even see in it when i'm driving it <laughs> you know so that's just my my preference but uh <clears throat> yeah that's it man that's all i have on the video um if you guys like to see more videos please leave your description please leave comments down in the description uh things you'd like to see out of the truck um the channel like i said i don't have really um you know, the direction of the channel right now i'm just kind of just throwing out there and see what happens man um <clears throat> so this again this is my first vlog I appreciate you all for watching. Um, I believe, this is my first vlog, I believe this is the part where you say, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, go subscribe. Like Slim say, make sure you're watching the ads. But yeah, other than that, that's all I got, man. Y'all, get out of here.